dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be sewing the asymmetrical collar we drafted in a previous tutorial so if you have not watched that tutorial i'll drop the link in the description box so you go ahead and watch it before you watch the sewing tutorial so here first you are going to join the side front to the center front after doing that you join the collar width by 0.5 inch also do that on lining 0.5 inch on the collar width so after joining the collar width you go ahead and use the lining to turn the center front so you place a lining on the fabric the right side of the lining facing the right side of the fabric while you turn the center front from the collar joining down to the hem so i'll place my lining right side facing the right side of the fabric I'll match the joining of the collar width on the lining and on the fabric. You can see after sewing the collar width by 0.5 inch, you go ahead and press it open like you have seen before you continue sewing. So I'm going to pin that down and then start my sewing from this end all through the center front and down to the hem using the lining to turn the fabric and i'll come back to that same spot and sew the other end from that collar joining down to the hem using the lining to turn the fabric as well so after doing that you go ahead and give it a notch you can see i sewed from that point to the hem of the center the center front and also I, I sewed from the other end too to the hem okay so this is what you'll be having you turn it in and you give it a good press so now we are to join the back bodies to the front bodies so I'll pick the fabric, this will be fabric to fabric, lining to lining. So I'll pick the fabric of the back bodies. The back bodies must have been set. You must have joined your side back to the center back and also sew the center back by 0.5 inch to make it a complete back body. So now we'll be joining the shoulder to the neckline and also to the other shoulder. So I'll match the center joining, that is the collar joining on the front bodies and also the center back. That collar width joining on the front bodies, I'll match it with the center back and then I'll pin it down. So that is the neckline. So I'll match the shoulder of the back bodies to the shoulder of the front body like so. Okay, then I'll start sewing from that shoulder here. I'll sew the shoulder on this end down to the neckline and also to the other shoulder to the other shoulder i'll be sewing this by 0 0.5 inch after sewing this is what you'll be having you give it a good notch you notch it all around the neckline and the sharp corners so you turn it and then you pick the lining and do the same thing so here on the fabric we have sewed the shoulder to the neckline 
for both front and back bodies. We have joined the front bodies and back bodies, shoulder and neckline. Can you see? So now we'll do the same thing on the lining. Place the center back on the collar joining of the front bodies. And then match the two and so so the same way we have done on the fabric can you see we have joined the lining as well so we are done with joining of the neckline now is to join the sides of the bodies so i'll pick the fabric of the back bodies and bring it to the front like you have seen and then i'll sew the side seam of one inch that I have added earlier on both ends of the fabric. This is fabric to fabric, lining to lining. So I'll join the two sides, join it on this end. This is my armhole. Okay, this is the armhole. On this end, I'll join the side. Of front and back together by one inch seam allowance that I've added and on this end as well this is my armhole I'll join the side side seam of both front and back together by one inch so I'll do the same thing on the lining bring the lining back bodies to the front bodies join these two sides by one inch seam allowance and on the other end as well i'll bring the back bodies to the front bodies and join the two sides as well okay so i've gone ahead to do that i've sewed the fabric to fabric on the side and also on the lining I've sewed front and back lining together on the side as well so then you turn it out turn it out and this is what you'll be having. You can see it's neatly sewed. This is inseam finishing. You can go ahead and add the sleeve of your choice, add the peplum of your choice. Here I'll be adding a circle to mine. So this is what the outcome of a asymmetrical collar looks like. So this is the inner part of the garment so if you follow the process you'll be having this neat outcome So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so you can get notified of our next tutorials. Kindly drop a comment, like and share. I added a press button and a decorative cover button to the center front, to the front bodies. Okay, you can see. This is my press button and then I attached cover button to the outer part. Just decorative. There's no button. Oh, okay. So I'll see you in my next tutorial. Kindly drop a comment, like and share. See you. Bye.